Transted and Swaziland Railways have agreed to jointly develop a 146-kilometer line from Lothé in Mpumalanga, South Africa, and Stogodogo Junction in Swaziland, as well as upgrading the adjacent networks in both countries. When complete, this new line will create additional capacity of 15 million tons, which will predominantly be general freight volumes from, existing, from the existing coal line. Given the figuration of coal trains, that is 200 wagons, we expect that significant capacity will be made available for export coal. Over the last three months, we've been delivering an annualized 70 million tons. If we can sustain it, this is a growth from 63 million tons last year, unprecedented growth in one year uh, in the, on the coal line. Um, when this line gets commissioned in three years' time, uh, it will significantly increase our capacity to Richards Bay because we will take off all the GFB business from the ML Richards Bay line and put it through Swaziland, uh, which will increase activity in Swaziland, uh, will pay for the infrastructure in Swaziland to use the infrastructure in Swaziland. There's also a lot of trade that is happening between us and Swaziland of a GFB nature linking also with Maputo. But on the coal line, we will we will replace all the current GFB trains with uh, coal trains, and that should take our capacity on the coal line. I think it will take it to beyond 91, closer to 100. The minerals energy complex on which our economies have historically been built is extremely dependent upon rail, not just to remain competitive, but for its very existence. Indeed, the expansion of our mining and resource processing industries, which are key exporters in our economy, is going to depend on the growth of rail capacity and improvement in productivity. We are determined to drive this project hard to ensure its speedy implementation as it will create jobs on both sides and on the South African side it will further enable the unlocking of the long-awaited Waterpeg coal line. South Africa is selfishly interested in, unlock, in unlocking the, the, the lock jam in terms of uh, the coal export corridor to Richards Bay because if you were to start with the Waterpeg coal line to Richards Bay, you, 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 you will not succeed unless you have unlocked the, the congestion that is at MLO at the present moment. And so this is a critical project on our part. With this project that, that, that we are we're launching today, we are looking at the, uh, uh, the, pro, the project as a develop, developmental corri, corridor. So there will be developments along, along the corridor. We are expecting to have industries which can start there, expecting also even real estate that we might have there so that we can create jobs. The Lotel Link project complements the Maputo Corridor and caters for those marginalized areas such as MLO and Swaziland. Our countries need programs whose outcomes create employment in order to alleviate po poverty. As a country, we invite all interested funding agencies to come up with competitive proposals. As, a minister, as Minister of Public Works and Transport in the Kingdom, we are providing the political will for this project to continue. Ladies and gentlemen, we are committed to working with the railway CEOs in handling all the issues pertaining the resettlement, environment, and others.